This man poured a jellyfish into the bathtub. This is the most poisonous jellyfish in the world called box jellyfish. People will die after a few minutes of being stung by it, and the process is very painful. At this point, the jellyfish had wrapped around Ben's arm. The sudden sharp pain made it difficult for him to breathe. He could only breathe heavily and jellyfish little by little upward, causing the toxin to quickly spread to his whole body. Ben hurriedly grabbed the shower curtain and tried to relieve the pain by shouting, but he found himself unable to make a sound until the shower curtain was ripped off. Dan had nowhere else to hold on to. He could only struggle in the tub until he lost consciousness. Why did he have to leave this world in the most painful way? Because in his heart, there was an endless hatred for himself. Just a year ago, he was driving home with his new wife. At that time, he looked down at his cell phone and crashed directly into the car in front of him. His wife and six passengers died instantly, and he was the only one who survived. Although the judge finally found him not guilty, but he could never forgive himself and lived with regret and remorse every day. So he had a plan. That is, when he dies, he will donate his organs to seven useful people. But before that, Ben had to screen for suitable candidates to be inoculated. Ben called a blind customer service. In order to test his character, Ben deliberately picks a fight and tries to provoke him with the most vulgar words. The blind man kept smiling at Ben's mockery and ridicule and never complained. All he could do was smile helplessly. Ben hung up the phone and covered his mouth in tears of frustration because he had never done anything so vulgar before, let alone with a blind man, but he had to do it to make sure his organs were going to good people. But it wasn't enough to test them verbally. He was watching the blind man in secret. Ben found that the blind man loved life. Although he was blind, he could play the piano well. Even though his fate was unfair, he was still positive and optimistic. Then Ben followed him to a cafe and saw the blind man take the initiative to greet the waitress. It was obvious that the blind man liked this waitress. Ben observed for a long time and finally could not help but ask the blind man why he did not dare to say his love to the waitress. But the blind man said, with my current appearance, I will only become a burden to the other party. Ben laughed softly at these words. At this moment, he already had an answer. Is he an angel or a devil? Ben just took one look at the albino boy in the ward and donated his bone marrow to the boy. The doctor said he was crazy, but what's even crazier is that he donated his own heart and this woman with heart disease named Emily was his next target. To get to know Emily better, Ben poses as a tax collector and finds her. But Emily, who had just been discharged from the hospital, could not afford to pay her taxes. The two of them had a fight and parted ways. The next day, Ben found her again and helped her pay off all her taxes. He also offered to hold Emily's dog, but the dog was too strong and almost made him fall down. Emily couldn't help but laugh at his embarrassment. Gradually, the two of them got to know each other better and talked about family life. Ben left a business card and said to call him if he needed anything. That night, Ben received a call from Emily. It turned out that Emily's condition had just deteriorated and she almost lost her breath. She talked to Ben about her fear of death, so Ben went to the hospital while comforting her. He also kept telling her stories through his cell phone. By the time Ben arrived, Emily was already asleep. He was kind enough to stay by Emily's side in silence. The next day, Emily realized that he had stayed with her in the hospital overnight. This made her feel warmer than she had ever felt before. However, the doctor told them that Emily's heart had started to fail. If she doesn't find a suitable heart, she may not live more than a month. And Ben saw that she was unattended and took it upon himself to look after her, acting as a chauffeur for her, helped her with her garden. He also took her out for a walk from time to time. And Emily gradually opened her heart to him. The two of them gradually get to know each other as they spend time with each other every day. Emily becomes more and more dependent on him. And Ben also found that he was in love with Emily. But he was in a dilemma. On the one hand, Emily gives him hope to live again. On the other hand, if Emily doesn't have his donated heart, she won't have many days left to live. Ben ran through the streets in the pouring rain. He then went to the doctor and asked Emily what her chances of survival were without a heart transplant. But the doctor's answer made him desperate. This was the moment Ben made up his mind and made his choice. This strong man was ready to redeem himself by dying. He took a bag of ice from the freezer and cut it with a knife and poured it into the bathtub. Then he called the emergency number. He said someone was going to die here. The doctor asked who it was, and Ben said it was himself. Ben hung up the phone and slowly sat it down in the bathtub. Then he poured the poisonous jellyfish into the water. The jellyfish tentacles wrapped around his arms. The deadly toxin quickly spread throughout his body. He clutched the shower curtain next to him and writhed in pain in the tub. Within minutes, he fell into a coma. That's when the ambulance arrived. Ben was taken to the hospital 
and it was all part of his plan. At the same time, Emily's pager went off, saying that a man had offered to donate his heart to her. Emily was overjoyed. Just as she was about to share the good news with Ben, she realized he was gone. Soon Emily was on the operating table. The heart transplant was a huge success. Ben's heart started beating in her heart cavity. At the same time, Ben left her forever. Soon after, Ben's brother found Emily and told her the truth. It turned out that Ben had killed seven people in a car accident, including his new wife. Ben could never forgive himself and lived in self-blame and pain. He donated his organs to seven people who love life in order to atone for his sins. Emily sobbed when she learned everything. Now she realizes that the man who encouraged her every day has long since grown tired of this world. She changed into a beautiful dress and went to the park and found the blind customer service man. He was playing the piano on stage. By now his eyes had been restored. Emily looked deeply into his eyes as if she were seeing her lover. But he smiled and asked, have we met before? Then he saw the scar on Emily's chest and instantly understood what she meant. The next second Emily burst into tears. The title of the film is Seven Pounds. An accident causes a man's lifelong regret and guilt. Ben struggles to survive and find meaning in his seemingly uneventful life. No matter how cynical he looks on the outside, his heart is always heavy. Finally, he found a way to relieve himself, and that is to help others to extend their lives. Seven pounds is the weight of life as well as the weight of the soul.